What is going on everybody, DJWars22 here, and today I'm going to be helping out newer players trying to get some kind of wealth on the new ladder reset. So real quick man, as a newer player, especially if you're brand new to ladder reset or Diablo 2 in general, this is going to help you a lot. If you're an experienced player, if you know a lot about the game, this, this video is not for you straight off the bat. Just like all my tips for noobs videos, this video will not help you, but this will help a newer player. So across ladder, you're going to see some awesome GG items, GG meaning, you know, freaking amazing right end game items and you're not going to be able to afford them you may not even know how to now you might get lucky in the chaos sanctuary or on a bail run and find a high rune which is vex rune or higher but you're probably not going to right so let's think of more realistic goals ways for you to get some kind of wealth like um runes a mal you know, you know even some poles that add up eventually and then you can eventually afford what you want and also finding some other things. So my first tip, we're gonna get into that right now. All right, so my first tip is going to be collecting monarchs, white monarchs. Please make sure it is not F. Please make sure it's not magic, meaning it's blue. Please make sure it's a white monarch. If it has some defense in it, that's cool. That helps, but it needs to be white monarch. The wonderful thing about finding a monarch is the places you're gonna find a monarch, you're probably gonna find other good things in between. So like I found a stone of Jordan, not on this ladder, but um, I found a Stone of Jordan, a Cham Rune, I found a Talrosh's Ami and Cal's. But I'm just saying, on the way for looking to really good items, you can find a Monarch along the way. These were trading for Ist. It's been all, you know close to a week through ladder, so they might be going down to a Mal. I would look for a Mal. If you absolutely have to, you can settle for an um pull. But the thing is, this is a really good item that will just get you that quick rune that you're looking for that will help you eventually build a rune that you want. Monarch, white Monarchs. My second tip for you is going to be collecting perfect gems. Now, I love me some perfect gems. I love to take a grand charm with a high eye level and take three of these bad boys, transmute them, and re-roll it. Now, early in the ladder, are there going to be a lot of people doing this? Maybe, maybe not. But I'm telling you, within the next week or two, you are going to see tons of people looking for crafted items. They're going to be looking for these gems. So what would I say? I'm not telling you go out of your way to go look for gems. Don't go gem hunting because that's kind of a bad way to play the game. But along the way, collect these gems use a mule like i am what do i mean by mule this is a level one character i transfer over anything i cannot carry on my main character over to this character so i go to with a friend i say hey can you hold this buddy if you don't have a friend you can leave the game up for five minutes at least five minutes at minimum come back and rejoin it now doing it that way muling that way it is dangerous the game could disconnect so personally i use a friend but collecting perfect gems you get 40 of them there's no reason why you shouldn't get an um this early you could probably get a mouth um, but then you want to get your whole inventory full on this mule and just trade them man. just trade them You know you get this whole thing full you can get two mules full It takes a little bit but again I mean on the way for you looking for grand charms for like awesome items Mara's bell and Shaco's and cool stuff Griffins, right? You don't have to lose out on all the runes that you get potentially these gems will help you so much My second tip is going to be collecting bases a wonderful place is cows hell cows i love it man i really do here's an example now this is not ethereal unfortunately i'm on ladder right now i don't have any to show you but it's just an example if you get an ethereal thresher four open socket gg i'm telling you it's really good man there's no reason why you shouldn't get a mid-level rune i'm not exactly sure what you'll get at this time but by the time you find one i mean there's no reason why you shouldn't get an um a mal you know something around that range if it's really good an ethereal thresher is awesome this thresher right here is useful it is good people would want it it's not a huge deal but you know something like that is good something small like this a four socket of flail it's just a little gem you might get a lamb for it you might not something like that but again all these little runes that you're going to find are going to add up there's other ones other four open socket ethereal okay ethereal items that you're going to want it's called a cv okay you can look that up or also a ca a cryptic axe um and you know there's some other options but four open socket um, not pole arm okay please do not collect pole arms don't collect pole axes thresher ca cryptic axe and cv um and there's one more but those are the main ones you're going to want an ethereal four open socket awesome my third tip is going to be collecting lower end runes i'm telling you they seem like crap nef rune seems like junk right a row rune seems like junk but the same way that you i'm telling you how to collect those perfect gems along the way just picking them up and put them on your mule is the same way you want to collect nefs and rows there's some more but for right now you know like tholes are really good too i don't have any to show you but um you know collecting these in bulk will help you craft like nef will be used 
if people want to go ahead and get some gloves the rowels will be used for other things and etc etc the tholes right but you want to collect these in bulk 40 of them 80 of them whatever and i'm telling you within the next couple days to a week people are going to have their characters done and they are ready to craft some awesome items now another rune right here hell rune you might not even think about that a hell rune is actually really good you don't need 40 of them but people are going to want them soon to possibly re-roll an item um and you know take out a socket of something and make better spirits or whatever they want to do hell runes probably are good right now and will be even better uh, later on so keep that in mind lower end runes are actually kind of good another thing i failed to mention about the perfect gems is you want to collect these specific gems and put them to the side the perfect rubies perfect amethyst and perfect skulls they should be separated from your other perfect gems and why is that these ones are worth more because again they're used for crafting specifically people use rubies all the time people use amethyst all the time and you can use perfect skulls for things like diadems or something you know these are crafting items these in bulk are going to be worth much more than just picking up a topaz uh, a flawless sapphire or a perfect sapphire something like that they're worth a lot more than the emeralds things like that so don't mix in perfect rubies perfect amethyst skulls to people when you sell them because you're ripping yourself off potentially my next tip for you is going to be collecting these essences i only have two to show you right now there's four total there's going to be this red one the blue one there's gonna be a yellow one and there's gonna be a green one <clears throat> now why is this important okay everybody knows if you come over to a car you can reset your points and that's fine everybody's gonna be able to do that early on but eventually right you're not gonna be able to come over to a car anymore because you only get one per difficulty for the den of evil quest so collecting these all four of them the yellow the blue the green and the red you're gonna make a token a token is a t and uh, that actually resets your stat points and people are gonna want those not right now but very soon people are gonna want those i'm telling you and they're gonna be worth a decent rune maybe an um possibly a mal depending on uh, if you get the right timing and if you're patient but people will want these tokens uh, you, again you just want to plan ahead you want to start collecting these things now if you're a newer player along the way now each one of these is found on a different boss there's five bosses right there's indariel duriel mephisto diablo and bale now this first blue one okay this can drop from indariel or duriel i personally would do indariel i don't i think duriel is kind of a waste of time um so this one will find off of either act one or act two uh this red one you can find from diablo there's going to be a green one uh, that you can find from mephisto no excuse me bale and the yellow one you can find from mephisto collect all four of them transmute them boom easy room my final tip for you i saved for last i think this is the big killer right here you need to collect three of each key now how do you get these keys here's one example this is the key of terror you get this um, from the black marsh going into the countess and killing the countess she has a small chance of dropping the key of terror just like this one you want to collect three of those okay then you want to go to the sumner in act two and arcane kill him he has a chance of dropping the key of hate collect three of those then you want to go over here to act five and i'll actually show you uh where this is i don't have the the waypoint because then it takes away pindle so keep that in mind you will lose pindle if you go for halls of pain but go to the halls of pain go to nilithek and then key of destruction that is the harder one to get so keep that in mind you get all three of those right sell them just like that okay so what does that do that creates potentially organs organs are for ubers which is pretty much the end game of diablo 2 or the hardest thing in diablo 2 if you want to say and uh you know at a, lo at a lower level you're not gonna be able to kill ubers but these no problem you should be able to get a goal rune for the entire set no problem goals all day okay i'm telling you right now there are some people who want ubers because they're people level 90s already upper 80s and everything but these are super easy to trade it may take you a little bit of a grind but honestly this is something you can do and you'll get a goal then you get another goal you got a vex now you got a high rune you do that four times you got two high runes you know what i mean you, i'm telling you the wealth from the key sets that's going to be potential in the next upcoming week or two it's going to be crazy everybody's going to be wanting key sets and people are lazy they will pay you a goal no problem all right guys thank you so much for watching another one of my tips for noobs video again this is really for the newer player who's kind of confused and, and just wants to get better items but they don't really know how um those are some good tips in my opinion if you want some more tips make sure to join my discord come hang out in some of my live streams i would love to tell you more in detailed things these are just the beginning noob tips but there are a lot more tips there's a lot better ways to get even higher runes you know there's a lot of things that i can tell you i can help you out with but this should really get you started along the way and help you get some of those gg items you've been looking for and until next time everybody it is your boy dg 22 signing out